Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see what are robo keywords and how to define a keyword with arguments. And then we'll go a bit uh, in bit detail and we'll talk about the, about named arguments, default values in the arguments, uh, and pass how to pass boolean argument or integer value as argument and then we'll also uh, share the list of keywords which will demonstrate how to pass list and dictionary as argument and you can I'll, I'll be checking in that uh, list of keywords in the git repository uh, you can use that list and use uh, it in your uh, test automation okay uh, so let's start Let's start from the scratch. Here, uh, I'll create a test case first, and my first test case name is Keyword Demo Test, in which I'll call a simple keyword which is not yet defined. We are going to define this keyword shortly. Uh, this ID has wrongly imported this uh, uh, file so I'll just remove this and now we want to define this keyword so we'll have to create a different section now whatever you type uh, below keyword section will be treated as a keyword definition okay this is simple keyword and you just below this uh, keyword name press tab and say log and pass your message okay very simple message and very simple keyword uh, I will save this file and run this uh, entire suite now you can see the result is passed and let's open this file in the explorer so that we can see the logs okay we can see the uh, log over here and this is a very simple keyword uh, demo now uh, instead of say please subscribe I would like to say Mac please subscribe this is the name of uh, my uh, probable subscriber okay so uh, instead of writing Mac over here it is good idea to create a variable so let's create a variable set variable and to this I'll pass this value so that Mac will be stored in this variable and you can pass the same name over here now it should say Mac please subscribe but again uh, every time you call this keyword uh, it is going to print the same thing so uh, instead of writing this variable over here I'll create this variable here okay and we'll pass this variable value while calling this keyword okay and here since we are passing it while calling the keyword we need to accept when we define the keyword so here you will type arguments in front of argument you will uh, define the name of uh, your argument okay now it looks good so this is your first uh, keyword with one argument let's run this program the test case is passed and refresh this log here you can see the name variable is created uh, in the test case and we are passing the name while calling the keyword and inside that keyword uh, will uh, we are printing the message very good now what if uh, Mac is already a subscriber so in that case I'll need to check some condition right if he's subscriber 
print different message if he is not a subscriber print different message okay so i will accept one more parameter is is subscriber and then i'll pass it from over here true or false so when i say true he is a subscriber okay now here i'll write uh, if if a statement uh, inside which i will say if is subscriber is true log message please like and comment if he is not subscriber this uh, will go to else here i will say please subscribe like and comment okay very simple let's execute this suit the test cases are passed and let's refresh this log you can see uh, uh, I'm passing true as uh, is subscriber parameter and if, since it is true uh, it is saying Mac please like and comment okay so we are good over here now uh, looking at this uh, keyword call it is not clear where this uh, true is going like uh, it's not quite readable to make it more readable you'll just pass this name over here like this uh, this value belongs to this uh, parameter okay so this makes it more readable and uh, if you pass uh, name of all the argument you can change their position as well so these are named arguments okay let's run this program again and refresh the logs correct we are doing fine over here we are passing the named argument good now say you have uh, added this parameter later on earlier this keyword used to accept only one parameter but now it is accepting two parameters so your old code will break so your old code would be something like this right so uh, if you try to execute it now your code is broken okay you have added this new parameter uh, because of which your old code is broken because your keyword is accepting two arguments and it got only one okay so to uh, solve this issue let's specify some default value to this argument so if you don't pass the parameter or argument by default it will be false let's save this and run this or file now you can see the test cases are passed all green and the second call is also uh, passed and it is going to else right good now uh, here is a list of keywords that uh, we could uh, write for you and it shows uh, this file shows uh, different uh, uh, arguments like you can pass list as your argument or uh, directory as your argument or integer values as the argument okay so uh, this is the list we could come up and if you think if we are we are missing something over here we should really mention over here just let us know in comment section and we'll modify this file and update in git repository okay uh, so friends uh, uh, don't forget that git repository link is mentioned in the description and uh, please subscribe to this channel like this video and uh, put your thoughts in comment section because we really like to read from you thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye